نحمد ہو نسلی علیہ رسول کریم اما بعد فاعوذ باللہ من الشیطان الرجیم بسم اللہ الرحمن الرحیم یا ایوہ الذین آمنوا ان تتقوا اللہ یجعل لکم فرقانا و یکفر عنکم سیئیاتکم و یغفر لکم واللہ ذو الفضل العظیم صدق اللہ العظیم Some of you might be wondering that I didn't give you the historical background of the Battle of Badr. But actually I have left it due to a reason. I'll be speaking inshallah next Friday at this very time on this subject Battle of Badr. The, the circumstances which led to it, what were the factors? Because that is a full subject in itself. And some of the biographers of the Prophet ﷺ have committed blunders regarding this. Due to their apologetic, you know, attitude towards the West. So they, that has to be cleared. So I have kept that for that speech, inshallah, and it will be included in this, you know, this, this record also. So that the, that background, you know, will become clear, inshallah. After this lecture on Badr, we shall have a full session of questions and answers. Because many brothers have said, you know, that there must be some time. So you keep your questions and, you know, in written forms, they must be there. And we shall have a full session, inshallah. Ya ayyuhal ladhin amanu in tattakullaha yaj'al lakum furqana. Oh, you who believe, if you have, if you have real taqwa of Allah, He will give you a criterion, criterion in your hearts, which will tell you what is wrong, what is correct, what is right, what is wrong, what is good, what is bad. The same thing has been given by Prophet ﷺ in some of his hadiths. Istaf te kalbak. You must ask your heart, because this heart, this soul within a mu'min, if the nature has not been perverted. This human soul, it's actually a divine spark. It's a divine light. غافل تو نرا صاحب ادراک نہیں ہے ہے ذوق تجلی بھی اسی خاک میں پنہا So actually, you have that spark within you. This heart. This is conscience, your conscience. So now if you have taqwa, this conscience is very active. It will tell you. At every place, at every time, every minute. This is wrong, this is correct. But you kafir ankum sayyatikum. And he will acquit you of your bad deeds. If there are any, you know, Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala will acquit you from them. By yaghfir lakum. And also pardon you and forgive you. Wallahu zul fadlul azim. And Allah is of infinite bounty. وَإِذْ يَمْكُرُوا بِكَ الَّذِينَ كَفَرُوا لَيُسْبِتُوكَ أَوْ يَقْتُلُوكَ أَوْ يُخْرِجُوكَ And just recall, O Prophet وسلم, when these unbelievers, these kuffar of Mecca, these chieftains of the different clans of the tribe of Quraysh, they were conspiring. They were having consultation among them. What to do about this minas? According to them, it was the minas. Muhammad sallallahu alayhi wa sallam and his new deen which has challenged our old creed and beliefs, everything, our customs and who is challenging our system. So what to, how to deal with it? So there were three alternatives which were discussed. Le yusbe tuka to imprison you. Au yaktuluka or kill you, slay you. Or you send them, expel you out from their territory. Three alternatives were being thought over. And the final was, which was proposed by Abu Jahl. One young man from every house, from every clan of the tribe of Quraysh. At midnight, they should go and they should, you know, attack as one body and kill Muhammad so that it becomes impossible to say who killed him. At night, go and ambush, kill him. 
سو دیٹ دیئر فیملی دی فیملی آف محمد صلی اللہ علیہ وسلم ول ناٹ بی ایبل ٹو ٹیک دی ریونج فرام فرام اینی بڈی بیکاز اٹ ول بی امپاسبل ٹو سے ہو ہیز کلڈ وائز یم کرو بکل ندین کفر اول یوس بے تو کاؤ یک تو لو کاؤ یخ رجو کا وہ یم کرو نا وہ یم کرو اللہ دے ور آلسو پلیننگ اینڈ اللہ واد آلسو پلیننگ و اللہ خیر الباکرین اینڈ اللہ از دی بیسٹ آف دی پلینرس دیئر پلین وین ٹو روئنس اینڈ دی پلین آف اللہ ٹرائمفٹ وائسا تتلا علیہم آیاتنا Now these are some of the incidents which actually occurred during the Makki period. Now Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala is only referring to them now here. What was there? Because this incident also, when they were planning and they were consulting each other what to do, how to get rid of this minas according to him, in the same way, when our revelations were recited unto them, قَالُوا قَدْ سَمِعِنَا They used to say, oh, we have heard it. Oh, we have heard it so many times. It's nothing new. If we also decide, we can compose such, you know, compositions. Although never dared to accept the challenge of Quran. None of them ever dared to To accept this challenge and present some composition and, and, and you know claim that this is equal to Quran in its literary beauty but you know they, they could have said so we have heard many a times these things you know and if we wish we can also compose such things in it's nothing except the fables and stories of the ancients وَإِسْقَالُ اللَّهُمَّا إِنْ كَانَ هَذَا هُوَ الْحَقَّ مِنْ اِنْدِكْ فَأَمْتِرْ عَلَيْنَا حِجَارَةَ مِنِ السَّبَاءِ And just recall when they used to say O oh Allah, O oh our Lord If this is the truth from you What Muhammad is claiming What Muhammad is saying If this is really the truth from you Send a rain over us Rain of stones from the heaven. Why did they say so? I told you, they had to control their common people, which we call today in, in the current idiom, the silent majority. There are the leaders and the silent majority. Now the silent majority, if it went in favor of Muhammad Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam, their position was threatened. undermined their you know position was based on the support from the common people so they had to convince people that our leaders they are sincere they actually don't think that muhammad is prophet of allah had they thought it they would have accepted and they would have you know have the faith they are sincere because they are saying oh allah if it is correct Send down upon us the punishment from the heavens. Send the rain of stones on us. Only to show off to the people that we are absolutely sincere. We do think that it is falsehood which Muhammad is presenting sallallahu alayhi wa sallam. Na'udhu billahi bin zadik. So that was actually to convince and impress upon the common people. مکا If that rain would have come, you and the Muslims and the Mormons at Makkah, they would have also been involved in it. And Allah was not going to punish them when they were asking for his forgiveness. Now, what is the meaning of this? Who were they who were asking the, permission, the forgiveness of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala? There are so many opinions. But what I think is, 
that because you know in Mecca there were Muslims also although they were not in majority maybe minority but quite a big number of the Muslims were there they were doing istighfar to Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala they were asking the forgiveness of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala now what happened what was the basic difference in case of Hazrat Nuh alayhi salam even after 950 years he couldn't have except a few very little number of people who came to believe in him the same story was repeated with Hazrat Ehud the same with Hazrat Saleh but this was not the case with Muhammad sallallahu alaihi wasallam Makkah didn't reject him totally after all who was Abu Bakr who was Usman who was Umar who was Hamza who was Abdul Rahman ibn Auf who was Talha who was Zubair who was Said ibn Zaid they were the sons of Bakka and a host of the other Muslims so it was a mixed reaction not a total rejection so that is absolutely different so in this mixed society number one they were also you know calling Talbiya Talbiya you know Labbaik Allahumma Labbaik Labbaik Allah Sharika Laka Labbaik but they added you to which some words Illa Sharika Tamlekuhu wa Ma Malak but they were saying so actually that you know asking for forgiveness that was among them also and number two there were Muslims there who were asking the forgiveness of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala so unless you know this was sifted Muslims were taken out and the unbelievers remained at Makkah the punishment couldn't come so that is the meaning of this ayah they were calling praying Abu Jahl was saying send us send over us the punishment if Muhammad sallallahu alayhi wa sallam is true if he's really your messenger then you don't spare us send down upon us a rain of stones but وَمَا كَانَ اللَّهُ مُعَذِّبَهُمْ وَهُمْ يَسْتَغْفِرُونَ وَمَا لَهُمْ أَلَّا يُعَذِّبُهُمُ اللَّهُ وَهُمْ يَسُدُّونَ عَنِ الْمَسْجِدِ الْحَرَابِ but now the things have changed Muslims have come out you O Prophet have come out from Makkah. Now the things have changed. At that time, this situation was different. Now they don't have any claim that Allah shouldn't send any torment or any azab on them. What is it for them that can now save them from the punishment of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala? And they are stopping the Muslims from Masjid al Haram. They can't go to the Masjid al Haram. To perform Umrah, they are now forbidden to go over there. Wama kanu aliya, and they were not the custodians. These these Quraysh, these Kuffar, these Mushrikeen, they are not the custodians of Kaaba. They are not the custodians of the Baytullah. In aliyahu illa al-muttaqun, only the God-fearing people, only those who believe in Allah, in His unity, in His attributes, only those who have the regard for Him. Who love him only they in all yahu illal buttaqoon walakin aksar hum la yalamoon but most of them they don't know it wa ma kana salatu min al bayti illa mukam wa tasdiyah now as i told you they claim that we are the followers of ibrahim so they claim that we also pray they were making tawaf circumambulation round round the kaaba that was going on they were performing hajj only they had added something bad to all these things so in the same way the salah the prayer of ibrahim alayhi salam had been distorted and distorted to what extent wama kana salatu min al bayt illa muqam wa tasdiya now their prayer near the bayt of allah near the house of allah is nothing but whistling and clapping of hands clapping of hands and whistling and so on and making tawaf this is their salah fazuqu al azab bima kuntum takfurun so now taste this punishment and chastisement due to what because you were denying you were rejecting you rejected the call of muhammad sallallahu alaihi wasallam 